Hi, my name is Mike, and for many years of my life, I was addicted to neon lights. When I say addicted to neon lights, what I mean is I was addicted to partying, alcohol, drugs, sex, and gambling. Last week I had an opportunity to take my granddaughter to a place back in our hometown. This uh, hometown is in Kenston, North Carolina. And she's five years old and she wanted to go to a nature museum. And I asked her, I said, where is this museum? And she told me. And we rode and we crossed the river and we're at the nature park. And it's kind of ironic is we pulled down to the building and this building was built back in 1900. Now that this, this building has been renovated by Historical Society, it's a very nice children's center, a learning center, planetarium, um, a science center, nature center, and designed for children, school groups, and young people, and even Christian church groups. The irony of that is, that particular building, as I walked in, in the door, I remember this was the place that um, I had my first drink. I had my first alcohol. Um, I remember standing in line and ordering an orange screwdriver at 18 years old. I was a college student. That was 44 years ago. And um, I had grown up in a sheltered life, a church life. I had been baptized at 11, 12 years old. Um, had never been out, had never really partied, even dated anybody, kissed a girl, anything at all. All of a sudden, I'm standing in a place many years ago, and I'm, I'm in this building that my roommate had taken me to, and um, I'm introduced to the neon lights, the loud music, the partying, uh, drinking. I had never really had uh, liquor, and um, he ordered an orange screwdriver, so I ordered an orange screwdriver. We sat down, and, and I, I saw the gambling. I saw card tables, um, women dancing on tables, uh, the loud music, uh, alcohol, drugs. Uh, pretty much, you name it, it was there. The thing is, I really enjoyed it, I liked it. I was young, had not seen that lifestyle, had not been there. Really had never been to anything other than a bowling alley and seen a few pinball games. And um, I was fascinated by the gambling. I saw a lot of cash on the table. I saw people winning. Uh, I, I saw um, beautiful girls. I, I liked the feeling that the alcohol gave me. It made me feel very loose. And um, that night began a long life, many years of looking for neon lights, looking for clubs, looking for um, uh, some people call honky tonks, bars, beer joints, pool halls, any place that would have the neon lights, loud music, lots of women, lots of things going on. That became my addiction. I continued, I, I, I finished school, I, I began a career in business, but yet nine to five, I, I was a, 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 in, in a business place, but what would happen is at five, six o'clock, I would want to just go out and find the nearest place to party, and I would party all night, and um, some of the results of that is I became um, just addicted to many things, and, and it was things that didn't control my life 24 hours, but yet it was a world of fascination for me. Um, the, the, the alcohol, I got into drinking, I loved it, it gave me confidence that I didn't have as a young man, and um, confidence to, to do things that I probably wouldn't have done if I hadn't been drinking. I was led to, I learned gambling, I learned how to play a lot of card games, and backing up a little bit, I remember um, learning a particular card game called Tonk, and um, going to school, and I would skip classes, I would um, fail classes, had to repeat classes, because I became obsessed with um, playing this game of Tonk, and, and I made a lot of money doing it, I became very good at it and um, became good as many other card games. Some of the things I, that, that these things cost me is I made a lot of money, I was successful in business, but I was spending most of my money at that time, maybe $200, $300 a week, and um, just life was a party, and I enjoyed it, but the more and more I did it, the more it cost, it interfered my relationships. My first marriage uh, failed, I was married seven years, I had a son, spend no time with him or that or, or my first wife and it failed basically because I would get off work and I wouldn't go home I had to go party I had to go hang out with my friends and um, 
do those things that were controlling my life. And that marriage failed. And then years later, a few a couple years later, I was blessed, remarried, and um, continued to do those things, sneaking around, lying uh, to my wife, saying I had a business meeting, business appointments, things like that. And still, if there was a club close to where I worked, I would end up at the club, and that club controlled me. It reached a point finally um, that I was losing the house money on the gambling. I was playing cards when I was supposed to be at work. I'd be playing poker for high stakes and lost um, money. I lost company money. I lost um, our money. I lost our savings. I almost lost our home. And um, my wife um, left me a few times. Fortunately, she came back. Fortunately, I kept making enough money to support all of these habits and all of these lifestyles. And this continued for many, many years. Um, the neon lights, um, passing the clubs, seeing them, I would say, I've got to go there, and I've got to go in there, and I would go in there and make friends very quickly and do things that um, I shouldn't do. And this cycle continued for about, I would say about 30, about 30 years or so. And finally, I reached a point um, in my life that I began to think about things. This was about 15 years ago and realizing that I didn't like the direction that I was going in. I didn't like what it was doing to me. I didn't like um, my personality anymore. I was also dealing with emotional um, things. I had a, a very violent temper. I had a lot of anger issues as well I was dealing with. Life was a mess. I was on a roller coaster, um, working 70, 80 hours a week to support our lifestyle. And finally, about and again, 15 years ago, I came to a point in our lives that um, my wife and I talked. She wasn't happy, I wasn't happy, the marriage was in trouble. Our finances were, I had finally reached a point we could not pay for all of the things I had done, the credit cards I had maxed out on, um, the habits that I had acquired. And um, we left the job, we left that company, we moved back to our home state of North Carolina. And fortunately we found a church um, started attending it. My son was in the seventh grade. He accepted Christ, wanted to go to a Christian school, so he went to a Christian school. We went to church because of him, but I began to learn things and remember things. And, um, and I, I, I remembered a couple scriptures that I had actually learned back when I was attending church as a child. I remembered the story of the prodigal son, and one verse that always stuck with me, and it said that when after he had spent all his money, he had lived a life of riotous living, partied, threw with money away, that he ended up eating, having to eat with pigs out of a pig pen. And the verse, I believe it, it said something like, well, he's finally, he had come to his senses. And at this point, in the year about 99 or 2000, I finally came to my senses and realized that, that I wanted life and began to um, really study the teachings of Jesus, uh, learning things, dealing with um, all of the addictions, the struggles I dealt with, and not knowing, unknowingly really, is I didn't, had never heard of 12-step teachings or steps to freedom in Christ, any of these things, but teachings from when I was a child, God working through me, um, reminded me of things, and I just came, came to the point that I realized that, um, that I needed something in my life, and that was, um, you needed God in my life. And through that, slowly went through the steps myself with Christ and um, arrived at a point finally where I began to overcome these habits or addictions or these, these, this lifestyle that I had had. Every day I've become stronger and stronger in my commitment to Christ and um, never going back to the gambling, to the drinking, to the drugs, pornography, all the nasty little habits that um, I, that had become part of my life uh, years ago. Part of CF, being in Celebrating Freedom, I came into it as a leader, and the expectation I had was really helping others and being a leader, but the cool thing about it is it helped me more than probably anybody else. It helped me deal with um, the reasons that I became addicted to the neon lights to start with, the um, things I did growing up, the, the lack of confidence, the a lot of anger that I had, and by going through the 12-step programs, going through the ministry itself as a leader and also attending classes and training sessions, I, I came to grips with myself and was able to go into the, the, my mind, as the Bible teaches about spiritual warfare, and see, find out why was I angry? 
Oh, why did I start drinking? Why did I start gambling to start with? Why did I start doing these things? What drove me to those things? And by coming to that point, recognizing what my real enemy is, recognizing the reasons for my addictions and struggles, I've been able to, um, to have this abundant life that Jesus told us about in the Bible. He once told the disciples, he said, I've come to give you abundant life through celebrating the freedom, the teachings of Christ. I've learned to have that life. And the old life I told, I, that I mentioned a moment ago was before Christ, but the life after Christ has been um, real life. I enjoy relationships. I enjoy my uh, marriage a thousand times better. I enjoy my church life. I just, I enjoy life and I'm at peace with um, um, my former enemies. I, I don't struggle with anger uh, to the extent that I did many, many years ago. And life is, um, life is good. Life is much better with Christ and the CF ministry, uh, continuing to attend the groups, the small groups, large group teachings, looking at videos, teachings, con continues to reinforce my strength and my awareness that um, how much I need Jesus Christ in my life to keep me from ever going back to the lifestyle that um, would have destroyed me.